Today we're going to talk about the new HBO Max animated series, Tig and Seek. So let's get started. Hey everybody, my name is Justin. I love to watch movies. If you guys love to watch movies too, you guys are in the right spot. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming videos. Eight year old Tiggy and his gadget building cat, Gwee Seek, search for the lost items of Wee G City. So this is a new HBO Max animated series and apparently HBO Max is acquiring shows that were supposed to be on television like we had Close Enough, which was supposed to be on TBS, and then this series was supposed to be on Cartoon Network. It is a Cartoon Network series, but airing on HBO Max. There are 20 episodes. Good Lord, there's a lot of episodes. I started watching the series like at 5 a.m. Took me a while to get through it, uh, but each episode is only 12 minutes, but there is 20 of them, so it takes a little bit to get through. This series is uh, not as raunchy as some other Cartoon Network series. You know, some of the most recent Cartoon Network series are a bit questionable. Some of them are just very odd for children compared to shows that I watched as a kid. It's more innocent and lighthearted, but it still maintains a lot of humor throughout all 20 episodes. One thing I did admire about this series is the consistency of the humor and the characters. With 20 episodes, I felt like there would have been a point where I got absolutely bored with watching the series and watching kind of the same storyline over and over again, but it never really got to that point. When the 20 episodes were over, I felt like I still wanted to watch more of these characters. We have Tiggy who works at this lost and found with a bunch of odd characters with such odd names too. His boss is simply named Boss. There's also another co-worker. His name is this guy. And then we have another character named Nuritza who is voiced by Wanda Sykes. So there is an odd amount of characters within here and they all look just different from each other. And I consistently enjoyed Tig and his cat, Gweeseek. So you got Tig and Seek. So I absolutely enjoyed them throughout the series. They're really adorable characters. But throughout the series, I was, you know, a lot of these characters, the three other characters we get in the series, just kind of were in the background. I never felt like I cared much about them. But a the middle half of the series... There were certain episodes that felt like they were targeted to the side characters for moments for you to appreciate them. There was an episode where they were playing charades and Boss didn't know how to play charades. So it was fun to watch him kind of learn how to play charades and the rules behind it. And so I felt like there was episodes that were meant to appreciate some of the side characters and get an understanding for them because the show, yes, does center around Tig and Seek and them working at this lost and found and then you know their job there and finding different items and whatnot but we didn't really get to know much about the other characters in the background for a good half of the series but there were episodes that were dedicated to where you could you know enjoy them for who they were. Gui Seek is a cat in the series and he is Tiggy's like best friend and for not saying anything in the series and just doing little things in the background, he's absolutely adorable. The cutest character by far in this series. There's many times where Tig is interacting with Boss or this guy and, you know, doing something. And then here's Gweeseek in the background doing something. So you're focused on the character interactions and their conversations, but you have to pay attention to what little tiny Gweeseek is doing here in the corner of the screen doing something. And so he's absolutely adorable throughout the whole series. Very cute. And I like Tiggy as well. Really lighthearted, fun character. At times reminded me a little bit of SpongeBob SquarePants. I really cared about his job and just really outgoing character. A lot of fun, just doing random things. That's kind of how SpongeBob is. He cares about his job 
at the Krusty Krab, has a lot of friends, you know, just really easygoing character. That's what I felt like Tiggy was. And so you have characters that, you know, interact with him and they're alongside him, they're working. And so the whole series is just really fun. It's not a series that's like regular show or chowder, you know, some of those questionable Cartoon Network shows that, you know, appeal to kids. This series is created by Mike Chillian, who was the storyboard artist and writer for Uncle Grandpa, and he was a designer for Rick and Morty as well. It's not as complex as Rick and Morty. It's fun like Uncle Grandpa. I have seen a few episodes of Uncle Grandpa. That's a pretty entertaining series. A lot of the most recent Cartoon Network shows are really bizarre, and this kind of, at times, feel like it's going that route, but doesn't. So it's also just a more kid-friendly series without having those odd, just bizarre moments that some of the Cartoon Network shows do have. So Tig and Seek is not going to be the first series from Cartoon Network to hit HBO Max. There is another one coming up very soon. So I like what they're doing, bringing in a different variety of content for the subscribers for HBO Max. You got like love shows and documentaries and game shows, but you're also having some of these animated series as well. So I feel like HBO Max is doing pretty good with bringing some original content to the show. So Tig and Seek, pretty fun show. I like Tig. He is, I like Tiggy. He is a really outgoing, just humorous character. And then you have Gui Seek, who is capable of creating these devices and whatnot. They really are different characters, but they balance each other out. So it's fun to watch them kind of interact with each other. Some of the side characters I did enjoy as well, but it took for, but it took some time for me to really enjoy them and have storylines that I felt connected to them. I'm going to go ahead and give Tig and Seek a B-. minus. Thank you guys for coming review for Tig and Seek. It is on HBO Max. Check it out. Let me know what you thought in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more HBO Max content. My name is Just Watch Movies, and you guys stay classy, YouTube.